Welcome to Books in Sum, your go-to for bite-sized book summaries. How to Fix a Broken Heart by Guy Winch The most important details in this book are that it is important to share your feelings after loss, how to break negative thought patterns, and why heartache is like physical pain. It also explains that social sympathy for those who have just been through a divorce or lost a close relative can be a problem when it comes to losing an unofficial partner or pet. Finally, it explains that the emotional pain is just as intense as the physical pain, and that it takes longer to get over heartbreak than people think it should. Heartbreak is a systemic injury that affects both the brain and the body. Ethan Cross and his colleagues at the University of Michigan used a functional MRI scanner to analyze the brains of volunteers who'd recently experienced a painful breakup. They found that the emotional pain of heartbreak causes the same reaction in our brains as physical pain, which the volunteers described as unbearable. This helps us understand why it's so hard to function normally when we're heartbroken. Heartbreak can also physically harm our bodies, as Dev learned when his girlfriend moved to another city and rejected his idea of a long-distance relationship. Heartbreak can cause our bodies to go into fight-or-flight mode, triggering the release of a stress hormone called cortisol. This can be detrimental to our health, as it prevents the immune system from working properly and makes it harder to fend off viruses and diseases. To recover from heartbreak, it is important to look at some common mistakes we make when we're grieving, such as refusing to accept our ex-partner's explanation of why they want to break up with us. This can prolong our pain and postpone the recovery process. Take Kathy, for example, who was dating Rich for six months when they went on a short break to New England. Rich told her that he genuinely cared for her, but his feelings hadn't developed any further. Kathy couldn't accept Rich's explanation, as it didn't measure up to the enormity of her pain. She spent months obsessing about what could have caused this sudden breakup. Letting go and treating ourselves with compassion make healing easier, and self-blame and learning self-compassion are two ways to speed up the recovery process. Letting go is the essential first step if we want to recover, and we have to let go of everything from our hopes to old happy memories and the things that belong to our ex-partners or pets. Self-blame is a result of negative cognition, and when Rich broke up with her, Kathy believed that she must have done something terribly wrong. Self-compassion is a way of rewiring our self-critical mental habits and replacing the negative circuits with supportive, patient, and understanding thoughts. Research shows that writing a supportive message to someone in need can speed up the healing process. Lauren, a woman who was dumped following a first date, put up self-compassion messages around her house to remind herself that she was both attractive and deserving of love. This helped her develop new positive thoughts and boosted her self-esteem. To help yourself heal faster, it is important to create positive narratives to explain breakups. Mindfulness meditation is a great way to focus on the moment, and reconnecting with yourself is an important step in the recovery process. When you're in a relationship, we should take responsibility for the breakup. It is important to focus on who you are going to become and what will help you get there after a breakup. This will help to put you back in touch with yourself and help you discover your true core. It is also important to steer clear of the common mistakes made by the heartbroken and avoid blaming yourself. Finally, the book emphasizes the importance of being mindful, compassionate and patient in order to expedite the healing process. We hope you found this summary helpful in your listening journey. If you're interested in diving deeper into the topic or getting your hands on the whole book, be sure to check the description below where we've included links to the book and other related products that may be useful to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our latest book summaries. And feel free to leave a comment with any suggestions or requests for books you'd like us to cover. Thanks again for tuning in and happy listening.